What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile. More of a deck analysis on the uh, video that I, uh, the, the deck that I played uh, at the Kansas City RLE Dobby Two under all so basically um what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over the deck the changes that i've made uh, there's like a version one of this deck that i played over at an unfun event um uh on a on a friday there that's over on my patreon and you can find a ton more deck profiles like this over on my patreon um, i'm putting this live to everybody i'm gonna start doing that with all my all my regional decks uh but all the local decks that i make that are just as fun just as cool are gonna be all over there so let's uh let's get started so decided to play dobby <clears throat> reason was is i wanted to play really good universes uh seven hand size 19 health character gives plus three damage to all of his moves and the big thing about dobby that i have found with uh testing his other two symbols chaos and fire is it's really really awesome if you uh hit it's really really bad if it gets blocked so all your moves are absolutely massive they're they're fat they're stacked but it's very feast or famine if they don't get blocked it's incredible if they do get blocked it sucks and so i decided let's play a bunch of throws so that if they don't block it's feast if they do block it's a snack <laughs> i'll at least get something out of the interaction um uh my record uh to the day ended up being uh five and three played a lot of uh, really hard fought games um uh ended up getting 17th with a top cut to 16 so just barely missed it my tiebreakers are a little bit better somebody else is a little bit worse we could have gotten in but <clears throat> we'll move on so let's uh let's talk about the deck let's talk about the deck uh the mvp attack of the deck bar none was nebulous stare uh this card is insane uh three low for uh three low for four that becomes three low for six it becomes three low for nine that i can choose to either take a momentum or build down nine times out of ten it was built down to keep the tempo of the game up this game uh, this deck really is uh not a not a turn two style deck and it's not a turn seven style deck it actually wants to live in that mid-range like turn four turn five uh, uh as like the latest that it wants to go uh and so this card is is phenomenal it also uh uh, tactically works with uh, another card, which we'll talk about here in just uh, just a little bit. This card was absolutely stellar. Uh, we'll uh, leave it off to the side as we as we talk about the rest. The next throw that we're doing is we're doing Invincible Clasp. Uh, this is a uh, four uh, four diff. 3 high for 3, 3 high for 6, 3 high for 9 if I decide to pay 2 life. And it also cancels wall cling if I have a momentum. So there's not a ton of momentum outs inside of this deck. I've got this card and I've got uh, Capture Evildoers, which we'll talk about. Um, but this is uh, this card feels very, very good. It's just like, here's a 9 damage throw. Here's a 9 damage throw on the kill turn. Uh, we go for it. 9 times out of 10, we don't pay the life on the card if it's just a poke, right? If I'm not going to be killing them that turn or I can't do the, the, the lethal damage that I want, that two health in my 19 health character is in very important. It's very, very important. So keep the keep the health the uh, uh, best you can. There are other ways to pump up uh, pump up these stats. Uh, the next one is Binding Armbar. Um, it's just a bread and butter tool. It is a blank four diff, three low for seven in my deck. Um, the seal didn't happen very often. I normally just leveled this card. The deadlock doesn't happen very often. I just leave with this card. Yeah, this card is fine. Uh, it's just a seven damage move. It's also low, so it, tr it tries to eat a low block if possible. It eats a mid block if possible, so that my other non-throw attacks can can get through. And then the last throw of the deck, the worst attack in the deck, was just a uh, uh, face palm takedown. This is a uh, two high for six, two high for nine, five diff throw. So it's like it's basically this card, but it doesn't build down at the end, right? It doesn't have that that extra extra bonus effect it's got a bad block um the combo does work sometimes but the only attack in my deck that's got a high block is this one which means i had to play this on a five and then on a six and nine times out of ten i want to play this card after an action we'll get to it though and so this card was fine uh on to the non-throw attacks because the all symbol doesn't quite have enough juice to play exclusively throws uh we were playing four rapid punches um finding two of these cards letting me redraw it's a five low for seven in my deck that that slams if i find two of them it's five low for seven six low for seven on a four on a five that just like replaces the cards in my hand um this was a lot of like i want to draw and have a lot of value uh, a lot of plus ones a lot of every card that i do does something so whenever like a thing would get stopped would get blocked it would feel really really bad 
Uh, on to a bit of a disruptor. We had a binding cloth capture. So this card's really cool because after I play one of the actions, which is the other half of Dobby, which we haven't even talked about, remove an action from my hand, grab an action from my discard pile, play it. Um, <clears throat> this card uh, uh, says that it's cheaper. So it's a three diff, four low for eight in my deck, which is incredible. As well as if it combos with a combo, um, you get to uh, you get to discard one of the cards out of their hand. And so we have a couple of really good combo cards. We've got a combo here. We've got a combo here. We've got itself. And so these feel pretty good to uh, to slam in front of. Play something like a Sugar Rush Power Up. Play this guy on a three afterwards. No, I'm not going to fail my check. Uh, feels feels very, very good. Feels strong. Feels strong. And then the last attack that we're playing, and really the reason that I, I decided to play the deck all together was just triple red guard uh this card is a three diff four mid for seven in my deck there was a uh, one game versus garrett brett when he was playing hatsume that i opened two of these and uh, was just able to play them on turn two having not committed anything i played a five diff played a four diff played a five diff and they were all doing you know i, I put him down his his 28 health character down to 11 on turn two built two past and was like you can't find the damage right because of how your deck works and so like this card um not only offensively works because of the the the, the nature of dobby making it a real threat but it also says on defense i take no damage on the partials so if somebody is doing counter throws which i ran into a deck that did that i ran into a, a toga deck that wanted to play a bunch of throws against me or uh, things like um jolt right i played against a, a deck that wanted to uh, uh to play uh Joel, I found a deck that wanted to play um, uh, uh, the air ground, no, uh, lift, zero gravity lift, there, it's, man, I couldn't think of it, zero gravity lift, uh, this card just shuts it down, also says breaker one, it also uh, lets you, you know, um, I've got uh, too many, uh, I don't have any low blocks in my hand, well, I can save this guy for the low block for the indiscriminate at the end of a string or something like that, it, it, was, it was important. On to the uh, on to the actions now. We're not playing a ton of actions, right? Because this is more of a more of a, a, a mid rangey deck. We were playing triple sugar rush power up. Not don't need the full four. Um, this card is very scary to play. You kind of only get to play this card if you know you're going to kill them. Because we're moving three cards on every attack, and then we're moving ten. We are playing a seventy exactly seventy card deck. It runs quick. <laughs> it runs out quick. You play uh, three attacks and this, you're down to 50 cards left, and that's not including things you've built or things you've played or, or whatever. And so, like, like what you remove uh, is important. One high block is insane. Never use the uh, the bottom enhance to, to get rid of a damage pump card because I didn't really care, honestly. Uh, the next one is just Capture Evildoers. <clears throat> this card's fantastic in, in my deck. Um, it's really, really good because of the amount of quality 5 diffs that we're playing, right? So we've got all of these guys that we get to play with. And so, like, let's pretend that, that this is my hand and I've got a momentum. Well, I could play a 5 diff play a four diff play the capture clear these play the five diff play the six diff play the three diff and like feel fine um this card was more of like an extender card as opposed to a uh, as opposed to a, a momentum sniping card yes it does snipe momentum right it snipes the jolt it, 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 it does its job but this card does say that like i can keep going and because i'm playing a throw deck if i want a momentum i have a momentum and the last action we're playing is just a little bit of a uh, little bit of defense. We're just playing double ruthless mockery. Um, we are playing the card uh, that gives the, our thing taunt, and so I can accidentally slam two extra damage. Never use that enhance one time, um, but like like it's there. So keep it in mind if you're if you're missing if you're off by like one damage or whatever. Um, but this card does say that like string decks, uh, you get to to chew through it as well as I just felt like I wanted two other action cards that weren't the two that I was playing. Right, like I didn't. I just didn't want these two to be 4Xs in my deck. I wanted something with a little variety. And if I needed it on my turn, I could just go get it, right? I just remove this guy from the game and go find the piece that I wanted. Uh, no actions. I almost played uh, Top Pro Heroes, but it ended up getting cut just for space. Uh, so we'll just talk about the aggro foundations first. First off, double carbo loading. This card was on the chopping block, but I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I didn't. Um, it's just a commit version of Dobby, right? So uh, let's let's pretend that we've got we've got one of these guys. So we stack, we give it uh, the stats, we give it the stats, we commit to give it the stats, and so this isn't a nine damage move. It's now a twelve damage move. It's the difference between doing an extra damage as well as we have. Uh, a way to ready this card in the idea of 
4x full on attack mode. This card is probably the reason that the deck works at all. After my attack hits, I get to heal one, you get to lose one. Feels very good. Um, it says that I get to actually use the ability on um, Invincible Class a little earlier. This card also says that I get to... I, I accrue plenty of face down cards, so I get to to destroy them on my turn, make turn it into a useful ability, and then um, uh, build in some fresh face up ones. It, it feels incredible. Uh, up next, we're playing uh, easily excited. Uh, this is honestly, I never really spend these on throws unless it's just like a poke to try and convince him not to block the throw. But it's always like I play a throw, I play a throw, I play a real move, and then it gets the the speed. And so this card can be a little uh, dicey because sometimes it gets forced to be committed, and you feel like you're wasting this slot. It's also a zero five two high block, and that's nothing to sneeze at. Um, Another big MVP of the deck, we've got four Unexpected Hero. Flip for minus three speed is incredible whenever you're dealing with uh, Jiros and whenever you're dealing with uh, with Midnights, when you're dealing with these very, very fast decks. Um, and then flip minus three speed plus three damage is very good when you're just playing a throw package. It essentially just says guaranteed an extra plus two damage that's going to sink through card's very very strong turning uh, there was there was one turn that i like i had a couple of these and uh and then the carbo loading my character and some more and, like a sugar rush and i had it like like you know a 19 damage throw when my opponent was at 10 we won right it was like a negative six for 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 19 and it i don't care that he blocked it <clears throat> uh speaking of speed hate right because this card had had a dual purpose in my deck um we're playing double specialists of sound Response commit minus three speed. I thought I only needed two of them. I uh, agree with that. Um, somebody told me that I should have played three and three. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't. This card was way more important on offense than it was on on defense. This card was this card was exactly where it needed to be. A uh, big change from the the previous deck was we're playing three me uh, mediator. Um, I'm playing action cards. I want to block with action cards. So um, things are so incredibly fast, and the all symbol has a way to deal with it. And I, I, I see the word action on my character. There's no reason not to play mediator in a one five three high block slot. Um, having this thing be able to block with a sugar rush power up versus like a um, uh, uh, a, a dark shadow ruin, and then destroy to give your indiscriminate shock minus three speed find the low block block with it uh, like uh, that's a sequence that happened this weekend very happy to have the mediator uh double acrobatic uh this is just a defensive version of the of the the dobby card the zero diff uh that that card's a flow card that like play up a wall committed plus to my check i, I get the string out a little bit harder this deck's not about strengths it's about pokes and so being able to uh block a little a little tighter play a ball committed minus one speed could be the difference between living and dying 19 health. Next defensive piece, we're just mainboarding double of Aiden copy. Uh, this is just for the All Might deck. This is for back alley haymaker decks. This is for your speed is so fast. Uh, I died to, uh, funny enough, I died uh, versus um, Carebret versus a uh, piercing needle that he deadlock stun 3 ex for plus 12 speed and i had previously built this card into my stage the last turn because i was trying to find something to try and kill him right he, he sideboarded into toga uh, and just like killed me for it and i was like he's like i was so nervous about the vein copy and i'm like i built it i built it uh and so like cards and in, cards incredible uh onto some flow we've got uh we've got four chivalrous competitor i mean this card's a uh, i don't know 600 700 dollars something like that it's very expensive. We both draw a card. Feels very good when my seven hander accidentally becomes a nine hander, especially with the value engine of um, being able to uh, uh, play this card as both a nine damage throw and a foundation. Draw an extra card to build more foundations to just. It's just like on turn two, I burst into the late game and then sit there and just constantly play throws. And this card very much helps. I don't care if you draw blocks because they're all going to do damage anyways. Next flow card um, is your, or you're finished. Um, this card with this card is incredible. So uh, Nebulous Stare is a, a, th a card that only has, that shares one keyword with uh, with my character. So I take and I use Nebulous Stare and I stack Nebulous Stare on top of my discard pile to give it plus uh, two damage. And then I use all my Yurso Obviouses and I draw because they match. Oh, you guys can't even see this. Because they match. Um... Incredible. Absolutely nuts. It was what what a stunning, what a stunning synergy that these cards had, as well as accidentally pretty good deadlock. Um, it uh, it served me well all day, all day. 
Uh, a bit of disruption, kind of flow. It depends on on how you uh, how you want to look at it. It's just it can't be fixed. There were plenty of times that my opponents just didn't stun me because this card existed on the board, which meant that I was allowed to allowed to attempt to to block some more, as well as. Um, uh, I mean, if they did stun me, it flowed me into some some bigger things. And even if I I lost some foundations due to, or lost some attacks due to building them face down, I still had that all attack mode to destroy. Oh, those the same attack is on top of my discard pile. I can now your finish and draw a card. So like this card, like like there's ways that you can uh, finagle dealing with uh, dealing with that issue. Uh, last couple cards, we've got uh, some disruption. Double daunting message. Um, really was looking for a one five two low block slot. That was really it. Um, I felt like my low blocks were a little little lackluster. And this card, being a nineteen health character, I take nine or I take uh, eight, right? Yeah, uh, or take take ten. Excuse me. I'll say every number in the, <laughs> that exists. I'll take ten, and then I can selectively commit down your uh, your cool things. Really good versus like wall cling or something along those lines. You're so obvious if I'm going for a big play. Uh, card card was good. And then my last one was just one night watch playing actions and the all symbol i need to play well, one night watch <clears throat> beats uh beats the staff strike decks beats the um the one punch decks beats uh accidental randomly good enhance right um if you need something to be canceled it just sits there it also says as a deadlock form pick up a combo there was one game where i picked back up this nine damage throw i threw it i picked it up i threw it again and then continued out my string um and so that felt just like that felt very good so normally, for uh, for events, I don't make sideboards, but I do want to. I do want to talk just rel very, very quickly. I'm gonna blaze through my sideboard. Uh, I played All Might in the sideboard because he is a, a, a copy of the character, and if I need to go to the late game, he uh, he does a slightly better uh, job at doing that with less consistency with his hand size. Um, if I had to play late. Removing three cards and then not getting the damage through felt abysmal, but milling four cards did not feel that bad. Uh, double Evade and Copy for the same reason, if I just needed more of them. We're playing double uh, Villains Defeated for um, Jolt decks, for Throw decks, for things to like like get my health uh, back up. I did not, did not side into this card, um, although I probably should have. Um, yeah, I, this was just, just technically a dead slot. Probably could have been something else. Um, I should reevaluate it. Uh, one night watch for the combo decks and stopping them. Double you're so obvious. Probably could take th uh, these and just slot them into into this as a to stop the big haymaker at the end, as opposed to stopping the extender at the beginning. I don't know. We'll have to again reevaluate. Uh, one capture evildoers because momentum is lame, and then one more red guard just because, uh, you know, the throws and the jolts and all of that jazz. Like this card, this card, it was just was doing this card, but a little bit better. Anytime that I brought in the red guard, I did take out the, um, I took out the one of, excuse me, one of the, uh, rapid punches and whenever i put in th uh, uh these guys i took out the vicious mockeries um because like these are i'm trying to make them actions right um i want to block with them so even though they're gray and they can be built they're essentially this card uh or th they do the same job the same role right uh, stops a tall move stops a wide string and so there it is. There is a uh, there's the Dobby deck that got 17th place at the uh, at the the Kansas City RLE. Uh, onto the three questions, um, was it fun? Yeah, five out of five stars. I think this deck is is the most fun that I'm having with the game at the moment. Of kind of chump checking my uh, opponent, being like, "Yo, can you deal with seven damage throws every single turn? Eventually, I will get there. You have to figure out a way to kill me because I know I have a way to kill you." Um, up next is difficulty. Was the was the deck uh, difficult? Um, <clears throat> the deck uh, I think is like like a th if if you main board Dobby, I think it's like a four out of five difficulty. It's pretty tough. If you main board All Might, I think the difficulty lowers, but I think that you don't quite you're not quite as explosive with it. So like I'd say I'd say as Dobby four, as All Might probably like a three, and then is it competitive? I guess. 17 out of 16 stars <laughs> uh yeah just just barely didn't make top cuts i think the deck is competitive enough uh with people being afraid of Jiro, there was a lot more throw hate than i expected although i should have like calculated for that um so like running into two decks that like hated throws um as well as like you know dobby easily just he just gets rushed down by by Jiro, right which was my other loss i lost to the good symbol um a good stuff package Jiro. 
Um, but all in all, I liked this deck. I thought it was I thought it was very very fun, and I highly recommend you taking it to at least your locals if you enjoy playing seven hand sized characters that aren't exclusively offense or exclusively defense. This really is like a, a, a cool seven hand sized mid range deck. With that said, guys, thank you much for watching the video. Again, if you like this kind of content and you want more deck profiles on the cool stuff that I play, uh, go join me over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Tam Cardwell. If not, you can catch all the live events that I do over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tam Cardwell. So with that, thank you much for watching. As always, I wish you well.